In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly set up one of MSD's CampSync plugs. MSD's CampSync provides a Hall Effect signal that identifies when cylinder 1 is firing. You'll need this signal for sequential EFI or when converting over to a coil near plug ignition. The camp sync rotates one time for every two crankshaft rotations. It signals our EFI that the number one cylinder is coming up. Different EFI systems have their own particular specification for camp sync placement. This formula covers Holly's line of EFI systems, including Terminator X, when using a crank trigger with a camp sync. Using a 60 degree ignition reference angle, the calculation nets us 195 degrees. Based on this formula, we need to put the crank 135 degrees before the crank signal on cylinder 1 to align the camp sync. With the balancer at 195 degrees before top dead center, key on the power to turn on our ignition. MSD's camp sync plug is a breeze to set up with the built-in LED. When the magnet is in front of the sensor, the LED is off, making it easy to dial in. Depending on your engine application, you'll need to determine the direction of rotation on your distributor. We're installing ours in a Ford, which has a counterclockwise rotation. To set the camp sync, rotate the housing until the LED turns off. Now rotate the camp sync housing counterclockwise in the direction of the distributor rotation. When the LED turns on, stop and rotate the housing clockwise, just until the LED turns off. On this edge of the magnet, our camp sync is set as digital rising. The other side or edge of the magnet is digital falling. Use the same procedure for a standard rotation engine, except the opposite is true. Since it rotates clockwise, digital rising occurs on the other side of the magnet and then digital falling. Either positioning rising or falling will work, just make sure you configure it that way in your EFI software. Don't forget to tighten your camp sync cool down. For more EFI products, visit msdperformance.com.